Hey everyone, it's Leanna from Love Learning with Leanna. In this tutorial, I'm going to be sharing how to create a daily reading log within your Google Classroom. And if your life is anything like mine is right now, you're working, your, your kids are at home, um, so hopefully I can make this super simple for you um, to set up and get it going. Have a great um, Bye. time. Bye! <laughs> Okay, so here we are in the Google Classroom back in the assignment section. Go ahead and create a topic and title it Reading Logs. Once you do that, we're going to be creating a quiz assignment to create these reading logs. And there's so many ways you can do this. Um, and you'll figure out that there's so many ways you can do one thing in Google Classroom. And so what we're going to do is just do it in quiz assignment today. And go ahead and check off the day you would like it to be due for your students. You could do it every single day. That will be too much to, to handle and manage. So I'm going to do it once a week. Um, and then I'm going to choose the topic in read alongs. And then create a title for this. Same as my other videos, I'm going to go ahead and write the title instructions in this section and then go ahead and click blank quiz and write the same title here as well. In the description area, I'm going to go ahead and write down the date that this reading log is due for the students. And then I'm going to go ahead and click the untitled question and put in student name. I always have student name in the very beginning. Uh, that way it's easy for me to tell who's who and I don't have to get confused. So I click short answer and then name first and last. Um, and then you go ahead and click the plus sign. And I did forget to put the required. So go ahead and put the, click that and then click the plus sign. And my next question is um, book title. So I want to know what the students are writing or reading and so I'm gonna have them write it down in the short answer so go ahead and click that toggle the required and click the plus sign for the next question I'm gonna have them write down the author or author's name depending on how many books they've read that week um, click short answer and required and go ahead again plus the plus sign I'm sorry next I'm gonna have how many pages did my students read um, it's up to them to be able to manage this. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. It shows up sometimes. I'm going to require it so they can manage it on their own and write it in how many pages. And so um, I'm going to keep this log short, but for my next question, I'm going to write how many minutes they think they've read thus far. And in a short answer form, they'll just be able to write it in. And for my last question, I'm going to make it um, a paragraph so they can write a little bit more than just that one little line. Uh, what was your favorite part of your reading? And you can omit this depending on what you'd like your students to answer. Go ahead and require it. And this is what I want my quiz or my reading log to look like. And you can change the colors, the header, uh, by clicking choose image. They actually have a book image. But as you can tell, they have many that you can choose from. I'm going to go ahead and click the book image, insert it, and you'll see right away that that changes the theme. Then you can click on whichever colors you'd like. You can even create or choose one of your own. I like bright colors. They make me very happy. <laughs> um, you can even change the font. That's all up to you. I'm going to go ahead and exit out so it looks pretty good. I'm going to exit out of that space and then I'm going to click that I to see what the students get to see. So that it looks like this. Everything looks pretty good from here. And I think I'm ready um, to go back to that main quiz assignment page. Oh, before I do, go ahead and click responses, the three dots, and select response destination. Go ahead, create a new spreadsheet and title it something that you would be familiar with. I'm going to go ahead and write reading logs and create. And that's where the folder that I'll be able to see all the responses. And if you click that button, it's going to direct you straight to the sheets in your Google folder. And this is where the students information will be able to show up. I showed this in another video, but I want to show again. I'm going to open up my drive 
And to be able to find that document, you go to your drive, uh, a document that, or a folder that says classroom. And then once you're in there, you can see all the classrooms that Google Classroom has populated for you. And this is my sample class in which I'm working out of. And if you can see right there is my reading logs sheets or responses. And so here is where all those responses will go. Okay, now that we know where all the responses are going, we're ready to submit or to assign this assignment. And we have it right here, and we're now we're going to be creating another reading log for the second week. Go ahead and put in the, the title and the instructions, change the due date, and make sure the topic still says reading logs. And it's much easier after you've done it once because you'll see that everything, go ahead, um, click the blank quiz. All you need to change are the titles, and what you're going to be doing is instead of clicking the plus sign, go ahead and ch uh, write down the, the dates for that reading log as well. And instead of cl clicking the plus sign, you're going to be clicking that second button. And once you do that, you're going to have um, this screen pop up. Go ahead, click that quiz or that reading log that you've created. And on the right hand side, click select all if you'd like all of those questions to pop up. I am going to go ahead and do that and make sure that you have exactly what you need and there are no extra, sometimes you get an extra untitled question at the end, you can delete that by clicking the trash can button. And so far that looks great. Let's go ahead and make sure the responses go into that same folder. So go ahead, click select destination and you are going to be choosing the, the sheets that says reading logs. And now you'll be able to access, if you look um, back at the, let's go ahead, assign this. And so it's that simple to create a second one, but I want to show you where it ends up. So now this is that, that sheet. And so you have week one and then week two all in the same uh, document. And that's it for the reading logs. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Bye.